Um, hello. Today I'm going to do another charger port repair. Um, this time with a little bit better view of the actual port. I'm using a board holder, a motherboard. I'm going to put a little flux on the new port, on the, the little connectors in the back. Flex that, put it to the side. And I like to use a little metal cover to protect the components I don't want to heat up. Make sure you don't cover the connectors. There we go. Okay, a heat gun. I uh, like some bent tweezers and I use a glove so I don't burn my hand, which is always good. Heat gun. Or high. This board is dead, so I'm going to remove my cover so you can see it better and I can still heat it up right. In a perfect world, you're going straight down, but then I cover the view again and I want to show this. Like that. Keep the heat on it so the solder stays soft. Boom. That's it. Switch down properly. Yep, there we go. It's as simple as that. When you heat it up, See, this is the reason this board is dead, so for me it doesn't matter that this piece moved. When you put your board in your board holder, make sure it's not pushing against any components. That's what happened here. This piece was pushing against this piece, which is soldered on, and I just pushed it out of place. But I wanted to show the port, and that's it. When you, when you first heat it up, make sure... Make sure that it's hot, everything, because if you pull and it's not, the solder is not melted completely in the back, you can easily rip off the connector and that's a whole other, you don't want to deal with that. So make sure it's hot enough, keep the heat on it, put it back, wear a glove so you don't burn your hand, that makes life a lot nicer. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe and look on SD Cell Phone Repair for all your parts and tools needs. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.